Hello, welcome to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. This video is going to be uh, working on this old uh, Kohler engine. It's a 15 horse uh, Kohler 15S is the model, and uh, it's got a carburation issue. It uh, it will run for a few feet and then start sputtering, and it'll die. So what I noticed is if you shut the fuel off before it dies, it'll start running okay, and it'll run on on the gas that's in the carburetor bowl till that runs out and it'll run fine. So that's telling me the carburetor, uh, the needle and seat, or the uh, float in there is not working correctly. I sprayed some cleaner in there, that didn't help. Uh, I tried to take the bowl off and it's pressed on or uh, it's, it's solid. You, you can't get it apart to work on the, the jets or anything in there or the needle and seat. So. A new carburetor on eBay was uh, 18 bucks, so I just ordered that and I'm going to try that and see if that fixes my problem. So I'm going to show you how to get that uh, carburetor off of this engine and uh, how to put a new one on there and hopefully that will fix my problem. So let's get started. Okay, to get this carburetor off it's pretty easy. you got your fuel line coming in here. You've got two nuts that come off of here. These studs here actually go into the engine and you've got this uh, oil breather line that comes in here into your air filter area so I don't think you have to take this off but I always do just to get it out of the way so this engine model number is a CV-15S. You don't need to take anything else out of here. Turn your fuel off. And I think that's a 10 millimeter nut. So, interesting fact about this engine, I don't know if it's that interesting, but the uh, governor on it has gone out as well. So, I don't have my throttle linkage connected to the governor. Uh oh, the stud came loose. Normally, that shouldn't happen. You want just the nut to come off, but for some reason, the uh, stud came loose back in the engine so I can get that put back in there that's weird because I screwed it out by hand Usually that stud stays in there. You want to take this hose off. I, it's easy to pull off. I don't have to loosen that little hose clamp there. And then your carburetor slides off, or the breather, and your carburetor will slide right off of here. You got your two linkages here. This one is the choke and this one's the throttle. And like I said, I've got my throttle connected straight to this lever here. I don't have it connected to, or I have my throttle connected to this lever down on the bottom instead of the governor running it. That's why I don't ever mow with this anymore. So then you take off your gas line. See some fuel spilling out of the bowl. You turn it upside down. There we go.
So there's the carburetor. This is your throttle butterfly and your choke. Your fuel line. That's your idle adjust screw that bumps up against the throttle butterfly. And there should be an air screw on it. But there's your air screw. Usually those are halfway out. So I need to get this stud back in there. Okay. <clears throat> now I want to check my fuel flow. Make sure that fuel flows freely to get into the carburetor. So I'm going to turn the fuel line on. Yeah, see that's a good good salt, good steady stream. That's plenty of fuel for this engine to run off of. <clears throat> so it's not a fuel filter issue is my problem. So you can see this carburetor bowl. It's pressed on there. And I think I'd have a hard time getting it off without destroying it. I did take off the uh, the, the uh, bowl nut and drained all the fuel out and sprayed some uh, carb cleaner in there, but that did not help the problem. If this doesn't fix it, I'm not sure what will. It doesn't seem like it's anything electrical. So here's our new carburetor. Looks like a good fit. You never know when you order stuff off eBay what you're going to get. Looks like the picture though. So take this old gasket off. You gotta be sure you get it all off of there so you got a nice smooth surface. So it did come with the gasket. It also came with the fuel filter, but uh, I'm not going to use that because the other one seems to not be clogged up and it's working fine. So hook up my linkages. I need this little plastic piece here off the throttle. So when you take this thing off, don't drop it in the gravel. Took me five minutes to find it. So that goes on right here. Okay, now we're going to put the linkages on, first with the throttle. Now the choke. And slide the carburetor on. It came out back here on this lever, so I got to get that fixed. 
there. And don't forget the gas. Make sure the throttle works good and the choke. Yep. So after you get it running, you have you need to adjust your uh, throttle position stop to set your idling RPMs. Also, you want to check your air screw right here and. I screwed it all the way in to see how far they had it out and it was one and a half turns which is typical setting for carburetor air screws is one and a half turns out. So let's get it put back together and see if this thing will start. So you do not want to over tighten these two nuts because they're pressing up against this and that's plastic. So just get them snug. If you torque them down real tight, you're going to split that. Another adjustment you may have to do is right down here on your throttle linkage. And you back that little screw out right there and you move your throttle cable in and out just a little bit because you may be way over speed or way under speed depending on how your linkage is met up with this new carburetor. Put the air filter back on. I'm not going to put the cover on just yet because I'm probably going to have to take this off and adjust some things. If it'll even start. Let's give it a shot and see if it'll start. Uh, sorry about the, the shadow and the lighting and all. Uh, it's just too dang hot to work out there in the sun. Got the gas turned on. I got my throttle all the way down. And choke is on. started up and ran okay. Uh, that adjustment I made, it acted like it was still being choked, so I moved the choke lever a little bit. So I need to adjust this choke uh, cable a little bit in so the butterfly opens up all the way on the choke. So that's why it was kind of sputtering there. So uh, looks like it's going to be fixed. So uh, that's the end of the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And again, sorry about the shadow here. but. Uh, really hot today. We'll catch you on the next video. Take care.